Welcome back. In today's class, we will be discussing about multi-product break-even analysis. What did we study in the previous class? We studied how to find out the break-even point when there is only a single product. But in today's world, most of the companies manufacture more than one product. So what we're going to study is how do we find out the break-even point when there is more than one product? So instead of selecting two products, say X and Y, Let's select two products that invokes nostalgia and excitement in our mind. Football and basketball. Now, these are two products that are very close to our hearts, right? Because we all have played football or basketball during our school time or with our friends or even today. So just assume that you are a businessman manufacturing footballs and basketballs. So what we are trying to find out is how many footballs and basketballs you should manufacture to achieve the break-even point. So let's get started with multi-product break-even analysis. Now we will start off with multi-product break-even analysis when goods are sold in the standard ratio. What do you mean by standard ratio? It simply means that there is a ratio that is existing between the two products. That is, if you're selling two footballs, you will be selling one basketball. That is, the ratio is two is to one. Or if you're selling three footballs, you might be selling two basketballs. That is, the ratio is Three is to two. And how do you get this ratio? It is based on your past performance and the current trends. So we are going to study how to find out the break-even point when there is a ratio that is existing between the products. Now we already know certain formulas to find out the break-even point for a single product. Now only slight modifications are required to those formulas to find out the multi-product break-even point. So let's take a look at the formulas. Break-even point in units. For a single product, what did we study? It was fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. Now for multi-product, what is the formula? Fixed cost divided by weighted average contribution per unit. So please note the only additional name that has come in is weighted average. Let's get to the second formula. Break-even point in value or in dollar. What is the formula that we learned for single product? It is fixed cost divided by C bias ratio. For multi-product, what is the formula? Fixed cost divided by weighted average C bias ratio. So here again, we are just adding the words weighted average. Coming to the third formula, sales required to earn a target profit. What is the formula that we learn? It is fixed cost plus required profit divided by C bias ratio for a single product. For multi-product, the formula is Fixed cost plus required profit divided by weighted average C bias ratio. So what did we see from the formulas? Formulas are basically same, except that instead of contribution per unit, we have to find out the weighted average contribution per unit. And for the break-even point in value, instead of the C bias ratio, we have to find out the weighted average C bias ratio. So the formulas are same, except that the contribution per unit and the C bias ratio is a weighted average of all the products. So let's get started with the problem. Two products are manufactured, footballs and basketballs, details in dollar per unit. The selling price of football is $20 and for basketball is $30 per unit. And variable cost for football is $11 and for basketball it is $18. And what is the contribution per unit? It is 20 minus 11 or $9 per unit for football and 30 minus 18, that is 12 for basketball. Now, fixed cost are $42,000 and budgeted sales for footballs and basketballs is 4,000 and 2,000 units respectively. This is very important because this gives an indication of the standard sales ratio. How many footballs are selling for how many basketballs? So what is the sales units ratio? So sales units ratio or the sales units mix is 2 is to 1. How did I get 2 is to 1? It is simply 4,000 is to 2,000 simplified. Because in 4,000 and 2,000, the common factor is 2,000. So I've divided both by 2,000 to get the sales unit mix in its simplified form. That is 2 is to 1 is the standard sales ratio. Now, explaining further, what do you mean by the sales units ratio of 2 is to 1? It means that 
football sales is two thirds of the total sales and basketball sales is one third of the total sales. Now, what are we supposed to calculate? Calculate break even point in units and in value when goods are sold in the standard ratio. And for point B, sales required for a target profit of $60,000. So let's tackle point A first. Break even point in units. What is the formula? It is fixed cost divided by weighted average contribution per unit. Working note one, weighted average contribution per unit is equal to 9 into 2 by 3 plus 12 into 1 by 3. $9 is a contribution of one football. 2 by 3 is the share of the football sales plus $12. That's the contribution of basketball into one by three, that is the share of the basketball sales. So this is how you find out the weighted average contribution. And weighted average contribution, we have found out it is $10. So since we have found out the weighted average contribution, just substitute in the formula. What is the fixed cost? Fixed cost is $42,000. So the answer is 42,000 divided by 10 or 4,200 units. If you sell a total of 4,200 units, you will achieve break-even point. But we have to find out how many footballs and basketballs we should sell. Simple. Out of this 4,200 units, two-thirds is a share of football. So how many footballs are we selling? Football is 4,200 into 2 by 3 or 2,800 units. And basketball, it is 4,200 into 1 by 3rd or 1,400 units. So this is how we find out the break-even point when there is more than one product. Here we have found out the break-even point in units alone. How do we convert it into dollar? Simple, just multiply it with the selling price. So break-even point in dollar is equal to, for footballs, it is 2,800 units multiplied by the selling price of 20. So into 20. So we get the break-even point in dollar, that's $56,000 for football. And for basketball, it is 1,400 units multiplied by the selling price of 30. So it is $42,000. So we get a total of $98,000 as a total break-even sales in dollar. Now, what have we done here? We have first found out the break-even point in units. And then we have found out the break-even point in dollar by multiplying with the selling price. Now we can find out the break-even point in dollar directly instead of first finding out the units and then finding out in dollar. So let's see how do we find out the break-even point in dollar without finding the break-even point in units. So the formula for break-even point in dollar is fixed cost divided by weighted average C bias ratio. So what is a weighted average C bias ratio? Let's go to working note one. Weighted average C bias ratio is given by the formula. Think about the formula of the normal C bias ratio. What was it? It was contribution divided by sales. So what is a weighted average C bias ratio? It's just total contribution divided by total sales. So let's substitute the figure. So what is the total contribution? One football contributes $9. And how many footballs are we totally selling? 4,000 footballs. So what is the total contribution? It is 9 into 4,000. And what about basketballs? One unit of basketball contributes $12. And how many basketballs are we selling? 2,000 units. So it is 12 into 2,000 for the basketballs. So let's make a note of it. Weighted average C bias ratio given by the formula, total contribution divided by total sale. It is 9 into 4,000 that's coming here. That's the total contribution of football plus 12 into 2,000 that's coming here, which is the total contribution of basketballs. Now coming to the denominator, that is total sales. What is the selling price per unit of football? $20 multiplied by number of units, that is 4,000 plus Basketball selling price is $30 multiplied by number of units of basketball, that is 2,000. So let's make a note of the denominator too. It is 20 into 4,000. 20 into 4,000 is coming here. That's 20 selling price multiplied by units, 4,000 plus 30 into 2,000. That's 30 selling price of the basketball plus 2,000 is the number of units of basketball. So we get the numerator and the denominator. Now, please look at the numerator and the denominator. What is the common factor? 
the common factor is 2000 right in the numerator and in the denominator you have a common factor of 2000 so we can take that outside so now i'm going to take that outside in the next step so 2000 taken out in the numerator and 2000 taken out in the denominator so that gets cancelled so what are we left with 9 into 2 plus 12 into 1 divided by 20 into 2 plus 30 into 1. Can you tell me what the 2 and 1 stands for? 2 and 1 is nothing but the sales unit mix. So instead of multiplying with a big figure, you can just multiply it with the sales unit ratio to get the weighted average C bias ratio. So we have the weighted average C bias ratio. It is nine into two. That is nine is a contribution per unit multiplied with two. That is a sales mix pertaining to football plus $12. That's the contribution per unit of basketball multiplied by one. That is a sales mix of basketball divided by in the denominator. We have 20 into two plus 30 into one. So that goes in the denominator too. So instead of multiplying with the sales in units, that's a bigger number, you can just multiply it with the sales units mix. That is much easier. So let's solve it. So weighted average C bias ratio is 0.42857. Now, one more thing that I want to tell you is always take five decimal places whenever you have a weighted average C bias ratio because if you round off to two decimal places, you will get the rounding off difference and the ultimate answer, that's the break even point, will differ by say $100 or $200. So in case of multiple choice questions, even you will be doubtful whether your answer is right or wrong. So let's substitute 0.42857 in our formula. So we know that fixed cost is $42,000 and the weighted average C bias ratio is 0.42857. Substituting the figures, we have the answer as $98,000. Now here, if you had taken 0.43, you would have got the answer 97,000 something. So you will not get that exact amount. That is why I asked you to take five decimal places. Okay. Now we have already found out the break-even point in dollar. Break-even point in dollar, how do you divide it between the two products? This is a little tricky. You cannot divide it in the ratio of two is to one because that is the sales units ratio. If you have to divide the sales in dollar between the two products, you will have to find out the sales value ratio. So what is the sales value ratio? It is nothing but $20 multiplied by 2. Only then you will get the value of that ratio. So 20 multiplied by 2 is 40. And for basketball, it is 30 multiplied by 1. That is $30. So the sales value ratio will be 40 is to 30. 40 is 20 multiplied by 2 and 30 is 30 multiplied by 1. That is how I got the sales value ratio of 40 is to 30 or 4 is to 3. So always put in your mind the break-even point in dollar can never be divided in this ratio that is 2 is to 1 ratio. Always it is to be divided in the sales value ratio. So always you have to find out the sales value ratio and then divide it between the two products. So we will be dividing $98,000 in the ratio of 4 is to 3. So for football, it is $98,000 into 4 out of 7 because it's 4 is to 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. That's how I got 7. So $98,000 into 4 by 7 is how much? $56,000. And for basketball, it is $98,000 into 3 out of 7. So it is into 3 by 7, which is $42,000. Now we can find out the break-even point in units. How do we find out the break-even point in units? Just divide it by the selling price per unit. So break-even point in units is for football, it is 56000 divided by selling price of 20. That is 2,800 units. And for basketball, it is 42,000 divided by selling price of 30, that is 1,400 units. So what did we learn today? We can either find break-even point in units and then find the break-even point in dollar, or you can find the break-even point in dollar and then find the break-even point in units. We have formulas for both. So always look in the question, what have they asked for? 
have they asked for break even point in units or have they asked for break even point in dollar so accordingly use the formula now there was a b part for the question that is sales required for a target profit of $60000 so what is the formula it is fixed cost plus required profit divided by weighted average c bias ratio so we know that fixed cost is $42000 and the required profit is $60,000 from the question and weighted average C bias ratio we had already found out as 0.42857. So what is the answer? The answer is $238,000, which means that if you have a sales value of $238,000, you will get a profit of $60,000. With this, we end today's session. So I hope the concept of multi-product break-even analysis is clear for you. If you have understood the concepts well, do click the subscribe and the like button. So thank you for watching and have a great day.